Jazz hosting the Clippers, and the Clippers are three and a half point favorites. The over under is at 230 and a half. The Clippers are minus 158 on the money line, and the Jazz are plus 134. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow, or if the lineups decide to change and people aren't playing. Now, thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord and who continues to join the Discord. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rossportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership, but it will give you access to my best bets and my stats. They're all in the Discord. And if you don't want to go there, you can go into my bio and just click the link. It'll take you there as well or in the description. Head-to-head, the Jazz are on a two-game winning streak. These teams are 5-5 and against each other in their last 10. The favorite has won and covered the last three games that they've played against each other. The favorite is 6-4 and on the money line and 6-4 and against the spread. So when the favorite wins, the favorite covers. The over is 6-3-1 and in their last 10. The home team is on a three-game winning streak. The home team is 8-2. and and the under 230 and a half is six and four. Now, this is just one of those games where on paper, the Clippers have one of the most talented rosters in the league. They're just never healthy and playing together. So we'll see if they actually do. We're supposed to have Westbrook, George, Leonard, Covington, and Zubak, and Tucker, Clarkson, Markinen, Collins, and Kessler. But the lineups have not been confirmed. Go to Rotowire, uh, Basketball Monster, or... Um, underdog NBA on Twitter, they all seem to be pretty accurate when it comes to the lineups. The last four games they played against each other, the Jazz have taken three out of four, winning 110-102 in LA, 121, the Clippers won 121-114 in LA, and then the Jazz won the last two games they played against each other at home, 125-112 and 126-103, and that was when the Clippers were hurt and the Jazz were kind of rolling. I like the Clippers in this one. I, I know that there's a lot of stats that favor the Jazz, but the Clippers weren't at full strength when the Jazz were playing them a lot of those games. So I'll take the, the Jazz with the money line. I mean, the Clippers with the money line. I'll take the Clippers laying the points. And I'm going to go under the 230 and a half. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.